I was on a road trip recently, obediently following all the turn-by-turn -turn directions on my phone, when I got a notification that the freeway I was driving on was suddenly closed to traffic up ahead, and I would have to be rerouted to my destination. And this was no small detour. What should have been a four-hour trip was now going to become a five-and-a-half-hour trip. I was so angry. Before I knew it, I was forced off the straight-shot freeway and onto a winding back road highway. While driving on the highway, I knew by the direction of the sun that I was at times now actively driving in the opposite direction of my destination. This frustrated me beyond belief. With white knuckles, I gripped the wheel as I slowly crawled to a stop in a traffic jam, cursing my misfortune. Stuck in traffic, I had a lot of time to think, and it occurred to me, I thought this was so bad precisely because I am so good at making plans. And for this trip, I had my plans down to the minute, when I should wake up, when I should leave, uh, when I should arrive, accounting for a few bathroom breaks, of course, even what I do for dinner when I arrived. Now, I know it sounds like a lot of energy to plan all this, but I actually enjoy it. It's, uh, it's like a puzzle. I like to fit everything in its place. Because of this love of planning, when I think of the unexpected, I tend to think of roadblocks, detours, something forcing my plan off its perfectly laid out path. So, generally speaking, no, I'm not much a fan of the unexpected. I feel like if I could imagine a world where everything went to plan, it would be delightful, enjoyable, relaxing. I would take that world over the one I have now. The one I have now is so often fraught with unexpected and frustrating changes. And how about you? If you had a magic genie bottle and with one wish, you had the opportunity to remove all the unexpected setbacks and detours from your life, would you take it? If you're like me, you'd be tempted. And then I thought more about it. I suppose by removing all the unexpected detours of my life, I'd also be removing all those times when I was put on a different path that actually turned out to be better than the one I was on. As I thought more, I could trace a number of unexpected setbacks to great moments of discovery and opportunity in my life. For example, being forced to move cities has led me to better opportunities and new friends I wouldn't have known about. Heartbreaks put me on paths to meet partners who were even better for me. Even, even minor setbacks can lead to amazing twists of fate. I remember one Halloween, I went out in the city to go dancing, but I never made it onto the dance floor because the lines were too long. The next morning, I went to church and complained to the person sitting next to me about my disappointment. That led to a discussion, which led to a first date, and three years later, I would go on to marry her. So it is sort of funny how life works out sometimes. So yeah, I, I suppose the unexpected really can bring unexpected joy. But of course, not all unexpected things bring joy. It can be unexpected when you lose a job, get injured, or see friends and family fall ill. For those things, it's very natural to want a sense of control, to stop all the bad things from happening. And yet, I suppose we all have a bit of wisdom inside that tells us that our spiritual growth, really, at the end of the day, is not about finding better and better ways to take control of our lives.
and remove all traces of the unexpected. In those quiet, honest moments, we realize we cannot escape the unexpected. By virtue of our humanity, our living, breathing, and loving, we are deeply vulnerable to life's misfortunes. I suppose you could say that spiritual growth is really about finding inner resources to be okay despite what goes on around you. I'm reminded of the image of a rock holding steady as water rages around it. This steadiness, this feeling of okayness, is not the same thing as happiness. Rather, it's a feeling of stability, a quiet voice of courage that says, in the face of the raging waters, in the face of unexpected setbacks, I will hold firm. I will dust myself off. I will wipe my tears. I will try again tomorrow. Cultivating the sense of okayness is a work in progress for me. Some days I can feel perfectly calm amidst the storm like, like that rock holding steady in the stream. Other days I feel like even the smallest unexpected setback is devastating. I feel helpless as it ruins my day, more like a leaf flowing down on the river surface hitting every bump along the way. So how about you? Have you found deep inner resources to weather life storms? Are you the rock, so to speak? Do you know where you are grounded, what you value, and who you can rely on and turn to? Or, like me, are you still in search for greater sources of strength and resilience? Do you sometimes feel like the leaf forgetting your grounding, feeling lost in competing values, feeling lonely? when you can't find someone to turn to? If so, don't let the feelings of shame weigh you down. You and me and countless others are all on a journey to a sense of greater wholeness. So this month, you, like me, will surely face the unexpected in big or small ways. May the unexpected joys remind you of the liberation of letting go. And may unexpected setbacks remind you of inner resources you forgot were there all along. Take care.